Today we are going to show how to create a multicolor print with the 6 3D printer and Simplify 3D. This new feature has been added to enable you, as the user, to freely choose different colors or different materials for different parts of the model. After a part in the model is printed, the printer will then automatically pause, allowing you to change the filament mid-print. This function not only works between layers, but also works within layers, so you can do quite complex prints. As it sounds, it is a little bit more advanced, so we recommend you to learn the basics of 3D printing first. Today's example is going to be the classic London subway sign. The first thing you need to do is to import all the parts of the bottle. Remember that the different parts of the model need to be split into separate .stl files. You will soon see why. Press import. Here you can see all the parts of the model, but they are not aligned. This is an easy fix by marking all the parts in the part list. Press edit and then align selected model origins. As the function's name suggests, what it does is align the parts to their original position of the model design. Now let's look at the different parts of this model. First to be highlighted is the base of the sign. Then we have the blue part, the red part, and last the white part. Now we need to tell Simplify 3D how to print these different parts. Double click on process 1 and rename it to fit the name of the base part, in this case back. Then click on the select models and select the base part, in this case sign 6 back. Here we're going to remove the raft as it's not needed. Then we will go to the additions tab and turn off skirt as skirt can mess up multi-material prints. We will be using PLA and we always recommend medium quality. This is the first part of the print. Now we will add a new process by pressing the add button under the process list. As before, we rename the process name to fit the next part, press select models, and select the part. Here we rename the process to blue and select the part sign 6 blue. Here we need to do two things. First we need to enable retraction vertical lift. If we don't, the nozzle might bump into other parts of the model while printing. We put this parameter to 1 mm. Next thing we need to do is to make sure we keep track of what color we want to use for this specific part. Go to the Scripts tab, then Tool Change Script. Here you can see a row that reads, please change to new filament. This is what you will see on the 6 display we need to load the filament for this part. Here we erase the word new and replace it with blue so we know what filament to use. We are now finished with this process so press OK. We will now keep creating a new process for each part of the model. Here the next part will be the red part. Add a new process, rename it, and select the part. The process is a copy from the last one you made, so you can see that the retraction vertical lift is already set to 1 mm. You just need to change the text for the display so you remember what filament to use. This was under the scripts tab and then under tool change script. Press OK. A 
And here you see us make one last process for the white part. And then we press OK. Now we have all the processes defined for the different parts. But to trigger the filament change, we need to do one last change. We go to the second process, in this case blue, and change the extruder tool heat index to tool 1. We go to the third process and change the extruder tool heat index to tool 2. And then we go to the fourth process and change the extruder tool heat index to tool 3. What this will do is trigger the pause once the previous part is done, so you then can change the filament for the next part. As you can see, the tool head index is limited to 5. We can actually switch between just two of these to trigger the pause event. You can therefore use an unlimited number of colors and materials. After all the processes are complete, press the prepare to print button, but don't press OK. We don't want to print layer by layer, but print object by object. So select sequential printing object by object. We also need to enter a max height clearance, enter 200. Then press OK. Now the model is sliced. A good way to look at the model in this state is by choosing active tool head in the coloring menu to the left. This will color the different parts depending on the tool head chosen before. We are quickly going to show travel movements here. If you look closely, you can see the path making a vertical retraction. This is so we here can print the white part of the model, visualized orange, jump over the already printed blue part, visualize green, and then continue printing the white part. This feature is dependent on that you as the user double checks that the print is OK for this type of printing. The easier prints are flatter with a maximum of one millimeter of difference in printing position between the different parts in this said axle. You can always have a bigger base part and then add parts within. You can then continue printing with the final color. And that is it. Now you only need to save the slice model on your SD card and start printing the file on your 6. Thank you for watching. Till next time.